All right, we're going to solve this system of equations pretty much using the same method we did in the other videos. Uh, it says the addition method is just elimination, all right? So let's go ahead and get rid of that. Uh, we want the coefficients of one of the two variables to be the same. So let's go ahead and choose the y's just because one of them is a 1. So it may be easier, perhaps, for you to see that making them the same is going to be easy. So I'd need to multiply this y by 2, but I have to multiply all the other terms by 2 as well. That gives me a 6x minus 2y equals 8. And then I have the second equation the same. It hasn't changed at all. We got 6x minus 2y equals 4, but I need the coefficients to be opposites now, so I need this to be a plus 2y, so I would change these signs. The problem with this example, which, which is what makes it unique, is not only do the, do the y's become 0, they cancel, but the x's do as well, which means we have 0 equals 8 minus 4 is 4, and you can just ask yourself, does 0 equal 4? And the answer, of course, to this is no, it does not. So since that's the case, the final answer for this is that there are no solutions. Okay. Uh, on this one, if we were to graph both of these, it just means that they would be parallel lines. Okay, so uh, that first equation looks like it would have been something like this purple line. And the second equation would have looked something like something like this. Okay, so since there's no solutions, on the graph it means that the two lines do not intersect, which means that they're parallel. Okay, so this is our final answer. There's no solutions.